Ever wondered why the universe exists? Today, we're flipping the question on its head. Why shouldn't the universe exist? It's a query that has puzzled philosophers, scientists, and thinkers alike for centuries. In our quest for answers, we'll traverse the realms of philosophy, science, and counter-arguments that challenge our understanding of the cosmos. We'll venture into the philosophical domain, where we'll explore the existential musings that question the very existence of the universe. Is there a deeper purpose or is it all a cosmic accident? We'll then shift gears to the scientific frontier, diving into theories from cosmology and quantum physics that explore the conditions necessary for the universe's existence. Could there be alternate realities where the cosmos takes a different form? Finally, we'll examine the counter-arguments that propose a purposeful design to the finely tuned constants and conditions necessary for life in the universe. Join us on a cosmic journey of contemplation as we delve into the profound mystery of existence. Let's start with the philosophical realm. Some thinkers and philosophers ponder whether the universe should exist at all. Ponder for a moment, why is there something, rather than nothing? This most profound question has been the subject of philosophical contemplation for millennia. The ancient Greeks, for instance, proposed that the universe was birthed from chaos, a void of nothingness. Fast forward to modern times and we find existentialist philosophers wrestling with this question. They posit that the universe, in its vast complexity, might not hold any inherent meaning or purpose. Instead, they suggest, it could be up to us, sentient beings, to ascribe our own purpose and meaning to this vast cosmic playground. Let's also consider the perspective of nihilism, a philosophy that views human life in the universe as without objective meaning, purpose, or intrinsic value. If this is the case, then the universe's existence becomes a cosmic accident, a random happenstance without any grand design or end goal. But then, there are philosophers who argue from a teleological standpoint, asserting that there is a purposeful design in the universe. They maintain that the universe's existence is not a mere accident, but is instead imbued with a deeper purpose, a cosmic intention. Yet this leads us to another philosophical conundrum. If there is a purpose, what could it be? And who or what could have intended it? These are not easy questions to answer, and philosophers continue to grapple with them. The universe's existence, or non-existence, is a profound mystery that continues to confound the greatest minds and provoke deep contemplation. So, as we delve deeper into this cosmic journey, we are left to wonder, does the universe hold a deeper purpose, or is it a mere cosmic accident? Now, shifting gears to the scientific frontier, theories from cosmology and quantum physics delve into the conditions necessary for the universe's existence. Let's begin with the Big Bang Theory. According to this widely accepted theory, our universe sprang into existence about 13.8 billion years ago, from a hot, dense point nearly infinitely small. This cataclysmic event set in motion the expansion of the universe, which continues to this day. But the question that boggles the mind is, what triggered the Big Bang? What existed before it? Scientists have proposed various theories to explain this. One such theory is the concept of quantum fluctuations. In the strange world of quantum physics, particles and antiparticles can spontaneously form and annihilate in a vacuum. Some scientists propose that our universe might have originated from such a quantum fluctuation. But this brings us to another paradox. If our universe could spring from a quantum fluctuation, why not others? This leads us to the concept of the multiverse, a hypothetical collection of possibly infinite universes, including the one we inhabit. In this mind-bending scenario, every possible eventuality exists somewhere in these alternate realities. In some of these universes, the laws of physics might be entirely different. Perhaps there are universes where gravity is repulsive or time runs backward. The existence of such a multiverse could explain why our universe seems so finely tuned for our existence. In a potentially infinite number of universes, it's not so surprising that at least one would have the right conditions for life as we know it. However, these theories, while compelling, are not without their critics. Many argue that without empirical evidence, these concepts remain in the realm of speculation rather than established science. Could there be alternate realities where the cosmos takes a different form? This question challenges our understanding and pushes the boundaries of scientific inquiry, reminding us that our quest to understand the universe and our place in it is far from over. Counter-arguments arise too. 
Some propose that the finely tuned constants and conditions necessary for life and the universe suggest a purposeful design. This perspective introduces us to the anthropic principle and the concept of intelligent design. The anthropic principle in simple terms, suggests that the universe's physical laws seem precisely calibrated to allow for our existence. It's as if the universe knew we were coming. For instance, consider the strength of gravity, the charge of an electron, or the density of dark energy. These cosmic constants are so finely tuned that even slight variations could have resulted in a universe where life as we know it, couldn't exist. In the light of this, some argue that such fine-tuning can't be a mere cosmic coincidence. This leads us to the concept of intelligent design, which proposes that the universe's complexity and order indicate a purposeful design, possibly by a higher intelligence. However, critics of intelligent design argue that it lacks empirical evidence and leans more towards philosophy than science. They propose alternative explanations like the multiverse theory, suggesting that our universe might be just one among an infinite number of universes, each with its unique set of physical laws. In such a grand cosmic lottery, it's plausible that at least one universe like ours would have the right conditions for life. Yet, despite these criticisms, proponents of intelligent design maintain that the universe's intricacies and the existence of conscious beings capable of understanding these intricacies suggest a purpose. They argue that the universe seems less like a cosmic accident and more like a grand cosmic plan. We'll examine these arguments and consider whether the intricacies of existence point to a grand cosmic plan. As we navigate these compelling counter-arguments, we're reminded that the question of why the universe shouldn't exist isn't just about the universe itself. It's also about us, our place in the cosmos, and the profound mysteries that continue to captivate our collective curiosity. As we wrap up our exploration, the question lingers, why shouldn't the universe exist? We began our journey in the philosophical realm, pondering if there is a deeper purpose to the universe, or if it is just a cosmic accident. We then shifted gears, stepping into the scientific frontier. Here we unraveled the intricate theories from cosmology and quantum physics that delve into the necessary conditions for the universe's existence. We also considered the counter-arguments, some propose that the finely tuned constants and conditions necessary for life and the universe suggest a purposeful design. These are complex questions filled with mystery and intrigue. They invite us to reflect, to wonder, and to question our place in the grand scheme of things. They challenge us to think beyond our everyday lives and contemplate the very nature of existence itself. Perhaps it's a puzzle we're meant to grapple with. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep pondering the mysteries of the cosmos. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic contemplation. If today's journey has ignited sparks of curiosity within you, don't hesitate to fan those flames. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and share your thoughts and theories with fellow explorers in the comments. As you traverse through your day, keep these mysteries in mind. Let them inspire you to question, to seek, to discover. Remember, every great answer begins with a daring question. Until next time, keep questioning.